Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to announce this fantastic group that we have on stage at the present moment. But just before I do that, if you don't mind me telling you that this morning when the heavy, heavy rain was on, we decided to break a world record for the largest number of people that could do the river dance over on the venue in the waterside. I believe the figure was they had to beat was 1,600 people. I believe, I was told that there's over two and a half thousand people in Derry. So we have broke a world record. So now to get back to business, thank you all for coming along. I would like to introduce you on stage, this amazing young group. They're called the Freel Sisters. We have Anna on flute. We have uh, Claire on fiddle. Big hand for each one of them, come on. We have Sheila on pipes. Jared on guitar. Mark on boron. And they all hail from Glasgow County Donegal. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, you're going to really enjoy this. They tore TG4 last night apart. Please enjoy them, the Freel Sisters.
Julian, and thank you for being so patient when we were setting up the sound as well. I know we were running a wee touch light, so thanks a million. We are just doing a wee bit of a sound check for Fla Live again tonight, so tune in or pop down to the Craft Village for a few more tunes and songs later. But in the meantime, marches? Marches. Marches? Try a wee set of marches. So I think the second one might be called the Battle of Aldrin, but I'm not entirely sure. You'll find out very quickly we're not the best with names, but I don't think you really mind too much. You'd rather just play the tunes. <laughs> So a few wee marches. because it mentions Terry. So it's about um, this man moving from uh, Donegal and he stops in Derry, gets the boat from Derry to Glasgow and 
and you'll see what happens when he goes to Glasgow. But he's quite fond of taking the girls out, so um, this one's called Free and Easy. And it's dedicated to Claire Overall. <laughs> The first of all my rumbles I will now sing Like many a bad bird or thrush in spring Before the sun rose last month I was free and easy to ramble first place I went to was to Derry Key. A few miles distance from Ballyp Bay. With a cheerful heart and a happy song, I was free and easy to ramble. The next place I went to was to Glasgow Green. There were lots and lots of seas there to be seen. I was the fairest of them all. I was free and easy to ramble. Drank whiskey, strong ale and gin. She asked of me to fetch her my hand and give her being easy to ramble on. Says I. Cannot be for I am bound for a marriage. When a man gets married, his race is run. He's not free and easy to run. Closed. It can roll no further than its allowed. It can roll no further than it gets mad. So I'll stay free and easy to ramble.
having a bit of a domestic here. <laughs> How do we do this one? How do we do that one? I'm just a peacemaker in the middle. We know we're doing a song. Gotcha, um, this is a song that we learned from the singing of our granny um, and we've never heard anyone else sing it and it's about the area our family's all from in Donegal so oh, Donegal, oh, Donegal. Oh, Donegal. <laughs> <laughs> um, So this one's called Chirconnell and it's basically talks of all the area um, and roundabouts and the person's basically leaving and they're very sad and um, we'll give this one a wee shot and if anyone's ever heard it before please let us know because we're trying to find out where it came from so. <laughs> from a fantastic piper called Mick O'Brien. Um, the first one, well, the first one's called The Rainy Day, so that's why we didn't really want to play it, we didn't want to tempt fate, but I guess 
we're under here, so we're fine. Oh, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll give the rainy day a wee shot. The second tune is... Oh, I can't remember the name of that one, but Anna and Claire. Queen of May. Queen of May. Um, and the last one is still to be decided. So it could go anywhere, so you've been warned. Another bit of a domestic here. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> um, uh, the first one is called Mrs. Kenny's Waltz, and that's a Michael Coleman tune. And the second one is um, is called Eddie O'Gara's. Um, I heard uh, Eddie O'Gara. He's a great box player who is originally from South Donegal. Sorry, my phone is ringing. 
Is this what you're not meant to do? <laughs> he's, uh, he's originally He's getting fired. Any other papers? Report to, to mum and dad and the whole, whole editions. <laughs> Anyone, please. But yeah, Eddie O'Gara, he's from South Donegal, lovely box player, but he didn't play for years. And um, he came back to music when he was took another trip to Donegal about four or five years ago, maybe. Um, but he hadn't played the accordion. I don't know if he'd even played it in the house, but he hadn't played for years. So he came back to Donegal with this really unusual repertoire that he had as a, as a boy growing up in Donegal. So these tunes hadn't been heard in years and he came back to Donegal and played them and of course we all thought this was great because he had tunes that nobody knew. Um, so this is one of the tunes that we got from him. And I, have, I think he's here this weekend actually. Keep an eye out for a very fly, you know, really well-dressed old man with an accordion case. Um, and he's about, he's in his 80s or 90s now, is that right? We were, um, we were playing a session up in, the, in Duncan Ely um, a few months ago and he was playing some tunes and uh, that was all great. And then it got quite, it was getting quite late, past our bedtime anyway. It was about three or four and Eddie was still sitting there, sitting in the corner playing tunes. And eventually he said, he looked at his watch and it was about four or five at this stage. He went, oh, jeez, I have to go, I have to go. I have to go and catch the bus. My girlfriend will be mad at me. <laughs> so he's some man. <laughs> the bus was to England as well, it wasn't down that road. <laughs>
thanks very much. Um, we're going to do our last song, um, and this is a wee song that we'll be doing later on on Fly Live as well. So if you don't be telling things, <laughs> got loads of stuff. We cannot take her anywhere. <laughs> And she'll hate me even more for saying it's a wee song that we've put down on a CD that we've just recorded. <laughs> um, uh, it's being mixed and all of that jazz at the moment, so it should be ready in the next few months. So add us, the Frail Sisters, on Facebook to keep up to date. And um, the, Frail the Frail Sisters on Facebook. Um, Sheila just wants friends. So. <laughs> I'm sure you're all lovely, but. <laughs> Okay, so this one's uh, 18 years old and I think we got it from the Danon. Claire's just worried because every time we sing this one, it's basically about Don't a young listen to her. A young girl looking for a man. And this is probably the third time we've sang it this weekend and every time <laughs> But every time we sing it, I keep asking, are there any young men for Claire and Sheila? And it hasn't worked so far. It's really for Mark and Garage she's looking for. <laughs> so this is 18 years old. <laughs> Get that fiddle up, come on. <laughs>
thanks a million. Um, we're going to play our last set now. We'd like to thank you so much. Actually, before we finish, we're playing our last set. <laughs> we'll get chopped off. We um, we're going to play a, a set of reels. Change of plan. <laughs> Before we play our last set, we'd like to invite two very special guests up. We'd like you to give a huge round of applause for Kira and Nick Dugan. They're going to join us on stage. They're our wee cousins. and into Farewell to Earn yeah. and we'll see what happens. Yeah. And sure, we'll let the girls and Claire take it off. The two, two fiddles can take it off. Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> you. 